This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. We're back and in today's Midday Fix, Shaving 101. Most men learn shaving techniques from their parents, friends, maybe in the locker room. Experts warn that some bad habits may be passed along that cause nicks, rashes, ingrown hairs, scars. And we have expert advice. Dermatologist Dr. Brooke Jackson is here from the Skin Wellness Center of Chicago with the proper techniques. Welcome. It's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. It's great for me because I'm getting on in years and I think I still have some bad habits so I think I could learn a lot. Um, what, what, where do we start? What's the first tip? Well the average man is going to shave about 20,000 times during his lifetime. Okay. And so we definitely want to make sure that we're... That's in, a lot. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> we want to make sure that we're um, instilling the good habits so you don't end up with problems with irritation. Well you've got Tony the face model here to, uh, to help us pass some of these ideas along yeah. so... Uh, Okay, so starting from the top, um, I like to suggest to a lot of patients, especially those who get bumps, just uh -huh. grab a baby's toothbrush and just when you're sitting around at, new, uh, at night watching the news, just go in gentle circles because that will help to take the hair out of your skin so a it doesn't get embedded. Baby toothbrush? Yeah, baby toothbrush. It's nice and soft. It's not going to be too irritating. So to cover the face, do that for about 30 seconds or 45 seconds a couple times a week. Okay. The other way you could do it if you don't have a baby or a toothbrush nearby right. is to use a little exfoliant. And um, any of those cleansers that have a little bit of grit in them, so just do that once or twice a week and that will help to lift the hairs. Because the baby might get on you by the toothbrush thing. That's right. What else? Um, this is a product that has been around for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It's called magic shave and this is something that is actually a chemical it melts the hair it's got thioglycolate in it I've heard about this but never tried it yeah um, a lot of patients don't like it because it has a little bit of an odor but it is a chemical so it can irritate the skin so this is to be used with caution but a lot of african-american men have grown up using this product right. so I just put it here just to mention and some of these issues you mentioned are uh, particularly uh, noteworthy for african-american men experienced Correct. more by african-american men because of the curliness of the yeah the hair tends to be a little bit curlier yeah. and when it's curlier it curls back into the skin and forms a bump and so a lot of African men American men will complain about the bumpiness irritation and discoloration but so many guys have these issues uh, especially that you say here mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a little you know, rash or what have you mm -hmm. um, and it's relatively easy to avoid sure. if you know what to do yeah and so basic tips um, best time to shave is after you've been in the shower or um, if you've ever gotten a professional shave you know they put the right. warm cloth on that is to hydrate your beard hairs to lift them up to uh -huh. make it a little bit easier so warm towel you can do that at home for a few minutes um, shaving cream you want to use something that's nice and soothing so both of these have a little bit of shea butter and other lubricants in them to make the shave the, the blade glide a little bit more easily Excellent. and there's so many different choices for blades these days over the counter this one that Tony has is a Mach 3 so it's got three blades this one is a Mach five is three is good five must be better right. and so each blade is going to lift the hair up and this the subsequent one will come after it to get a smoother shave and then finally you have mm -hmm. to be careful after you shave to make sure that you're protecting your skin and so these are some products that have a little alpha hydroxy acid or glycolic acid to help to keep the skin a little bit smoother and for all men you absolutely must wear your sunscreen and so these are some products made specifically for men not a lot of fragrance manly packaging that are great for um, moisturizing and protecting every the skin. day with the sunscreen every right? Day. dermatologist every day. approved information uh, yeah. is, is Tony gonna shave for us is Tony uh, yeah, gonna, okay. he's ready to shave. all right I'll bring this water over here for him we got about a minute left for that. Okay. So the other thing you want to do is make sure that you um, wet the blade frequently just to declog it. Okay. And so you want to shave with the grain. Um, that's going to prevent a lot of bumping from occurring as well. Tony, we've been waiting all day for this. This is fantastic. You, you're doing a great job. I'm glad your name's not Nick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Now, this is good stuff. Um, I think that the, the razor you showed is mm -hmm. actually the one I, I use the electric version of uh -huh. that. They've got an electric one mm -hmm. that vibrates a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I recommend it, Tony, yeah. for your next shave, shaving experience. Dr. Brooke Jackson, thanks so much for being with us. And Tony, My you sure. too. If you want to learn more, check out skinwellnesscenter.org online. And for a link, just log on to wgntv.com slash midday. We'll be right back. Can I bore that razor just for a second? <laughs>